75% of the mass of a human brain is made up of a substance called myelin. And myelin is made up 100% by cholesterol. I'll leave it there. On a separate and completely unrelated subject, Alzheimer's disease is a neurodegenerative brain disease which destroys brain cells. Now, Alzheimer's never existed until 1979, and yet now it is one of the leading causes of death in Western societies. On a separate and completely unrelated subject, margarine was first invented in 1869 because Napoleon wanted a cheaper and longer lasting fat for his armies to travel with. Um, it didn't gain popularity until the Second World War, when butter and other animal fats were scarce, grew in popularity in the 50s, uh, but by the 70s, the animal fats in it had been re replaced with vegetable oils. Because obviously animal fats contain saturated fat and a lot of cholesterol. So they wanted to offer a lower cholesterol alternative. I'll leave it there. On a separate and completely unrelated subject, margarine is one molecule away from being plastic. Now, as any chemist will tell you, one molecule can make a huge difference to the finished compound. Take ethanol and methanol, for example. Um, one molecule difference, but very, very, very different results when ingested into the human body, right? So I'll leave it there. On a separate and completely unrelated subject, a simple experiment to do at home is to take a slab of butter, a slab of vegetable margarine with no animal fats in, and a slab of plastic, and stick them all outside in your garden and have a look what happens. Uh, very quickly, all the wildlife in the area is going to be attracted to that butter, from the flies and the beetles and the mini beasts through the birds, the rodents, all the way up to the apex predators, foxes, badgers, bears. If there happens to be no other wildlife around, then bacteria and mold will very, very quickly consume it because it's easily digestible for all organic life forms. The margarine and the plastic will sit there for weeks. Nothing in nature will touch them. Try it. I'll leave it there. On a separate and completely unrelated subject, I invite all GPs out there to check your patient's medical records and see how many of your dementia and specifically Alzheimer's patients have been on statins and or low cholesterol diets for many years. I'd be very interested to hear your feedback in the comments and I'll leave it there.